All right, we're back. Circling Back Podcast coming to you live from our houses. My name's Will DeFries. On the screen in front of me, David Roth. I went to a bar last night afterward, after the live stream, man. A couple of the guys were like, hey, dude, you want to just go get one more? Kind of talk about some stuff? And I ended up going. So if my voice is a little raspy, that's why. And it has nothing to do with the Live Oak Hefeweizen I had while playing Call of Duty till midnight. I mean, you know when they say one more, it never means just one. Man, that's the thing about it, dude. I mean, but Dave, as many, times as, to be here. as many times as we've been to the bar after these live streams, why didn't you invite me this time? You had the puppy. Yeah, you're also like you've you've turned it down so many times that like we we have a side text without you. Uh, Is that right? Yeah, you know, I didn't think you're gonna tell him, but yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Dude. Okay, but we'll see about just, it. You can only turn it, down going to the bar so many times after happy hour that you sometimes you have to get axed. It's uh, me, Will, Brett, and Jim O'Hare. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, Jim got a dog. Did y'all take a, a, a little skinny dip in his acre, square acre pool? Oh, that sounded tight, man. We were doing a little uh, jet skiing around it, playing a little jet ski water polo. <clears throat> Hell yeah. That dude's awesome, man. I'm, I'm a little a little upset that I missed that interview. He's, were you watching one of the guys? Night? I watched um, – I turned it on right as uh, Chantel – Chantel, that's how you say her name, right? Why yep. did, as she was – finishing up and I, I i put it on the tv up here in the living room um so i watched the entire gym interview man we had fun last night that that was that dude's lit that that dude was lit i feel like it was just we're kind of like figuring out the the happy hour live kind of cadence at this point last it's night hit, legs, man. i was not it's worried about anything last night if you have not watched, around. go to youtube.com slash c slash washed media go subscribe you can watch all these live streams in the uh, in the archive. We got a lot on there. Clips from the episodes, full episodes. It's just everything. Go check it out. I, really I don't feel crazy saying live. that. I think that the live, the uh, happy hour live streams will continue past quarantine, man. That's how much fun they are. Maybe well, after quarantine, we do like one a week. Maybe a Thursday. I don't know. Wednesday or Thursday, I think might be in the in the wheelhouse. I. I my original thought was Thursday, but then I was like, man, how many times do I end up at Matt's El Rancho on Thursday night without planning to go to Matt's El Rancho on Thursdays? <laughs> and the more I think about it, I'm like, we might have to do Wednesday. Yeah. Either well, way. A, happy hour, a happy hour is typically a little bit earlier than set. We do yeah. them at 7 o'clock here. We can move them up a little bit and still have room for Matt's. Who knows? Just yeah. spitball in here. We can do I'm it worried. from Matt's. Yeah, but I'm worried about people commuting. All the commuters. Yep. I, I just I don't want these people to be watching it like not live. I, I, I yeah. love people that don't watch it live, but like I, I love the live interaction and comments. It's the best part for me. Uh, I learned yeah. last night that I can no longer do the live stream with the live comments open. <laughs> I don't look it's at that. Too, very it's too much of a distraction. I, I I'm bad about it and I'll read I'll either read something that makes me laugh while I shouldn't be laughing because the guest is talking. Or I'll read something that makes me self conscious. Like there'll be somebody will be like, Oh, is Dave's mic muted? And I'll be like, Well, fuck, am I not talking enough? And then I'm like, No, 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 just let the game come to you. So I, I just, I don't need the real time feedback about my performance. And so when we were interviewing Chantel, I just went to private chat, which is VIP only, and uh, left it there. Yeah. I, I, I always end up reading them and, if it's something about like Dylan, I always end up laughing. And then if it's something about Dave, I end up looking at Dave to see if Dave is like making any adjustments because I know he's reading too. And then we just got Brett just cheesing constantly in the in the corner. So Jeez. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it open because there's some great spinoff content that comes from the there's channel. great content. That's what Dude, we have that. straight up we have some like straight up funny listeners. And uh I don't know, they're just entertaining. I gotta keep it open, man. Have we been banning no, anybody? Like, anyone taking it too far? <clears throat> no, there's just there's some very obvious trolling happening in the comments, but I don't think nothing that nothing that deserves a ban. I don't think. Can we can we put Micah on a uh, block patrol? I'll fly with that. <laughs> just give him access. I, yeah. would, I don't hate it. I would love that. Yeah, that'd be fun. Him. Except for except for the fact that he would probably ban or block like seventy percent of our uh, our commenters. We can't have that. You know how. 
He's got that, that itchy trigger finger, man. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> that's why. Yeah, I another thing, Dylan. I don't want to. I don't want to burst your bubble here. But while you were uh, auditioning for Bro Bible last night, um, our numbies were great without you. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh, that think, makes him feel I mean, good. That's what I was doing. <laughs> like, that's okay. That's a, you know, uh, I'm a team player here, Brett. Okay, I don't need any personal credit. So we Whatever. were saying. So we, we were saying in the in the side text that if Jim O'Hare does take your spot, you're cool with that. If I get if I get replaced by Jim O'Hare, like, what are you gonna do? You know. Yeah. If there's anyone that we've ever had on whose wheelhouse is fun and easy banter, it's Jim O'Hare. I have never experienced fun and easy banter at the level that he was doing. The fact that he and Dave did like 10 minutes on just pools. I was just sitting there. And, <laughs> like, I don't know. So like I was going through the comments on Reddit this morning, getting, getting the, some feedback and somebody like complained about having like too big of a guest on there. And I was like, uh, did you hear what he and Dave were doing the entire time? Like that was phenomenal content. Let's be oh. honest. Let's be honest. He's not, he's a, okay. He's a big guest. He's recognizable from a, a show that most people watched in our demographic. He's not like it's not like we had uh, Amy Poehler on though. Like he's not. He was just he was a bit character, you know. It wasn't. It's like we had McConaughey on. That's a big. That's a guest that might be too big for us. I think he's like the perfect. I think he's like a small to mid sized guest. Yeah. He's the perfect guest for us. He's better yeah. than Amy Poehler would have been talking to us. Like we could have had a lot of other characters from Parks and Rec on, and I don't think any of them would have meshed with us as well as he did. And honestly, someone he was like a great fit. Someone complained because they thought that he was too big of a guest. No, 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 no. It was. It, it wasn't really. I, I I read that comment. It was. I don't know. I, somebody. Some people just are not used to the interview format. I mean, because it it's it's different. But these times are uncertain. They have to realize that. I mean, yeah. Well, he he had the look in his eye where he knew that we could just talk like an acre by acre pool and be sarcastic, and then. And then Dave and him ran with it. I, there was I, I couldn't stop smiling, as you can see by the picture that was uploaded to Circling Back <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> so make, every talent. screenshot, every screenshot we get, Brett, you're, you're just like on top of the world, man. It's like it's the greatest <laughs> thing ever. To make you Dylan know. feel even worse, I just want to point out and and say that I thought I thought uh, everybody had their best performance last night uh, from this little. They did, dude. The inter, dude, Brett was on fire at one point. Will Will came in with like on Jim and just was like he asked tasteful fan questions like <laughs> yeah it wasn't, I, you didn't you didn't sound like a stand but you sounded like somebody who really knew what he was talking about preparing for that kind of interview is weird because I mean there's obviously questions that you don't want to ask because they're expected questions that he's been asked in every interview but at the same time it's like well I'm only really going to have one opportunity to talk to like one of my favorite characters so I'm going to take that opportunity to be a fan and I don't. I don't want to do that in the future for any, any people that we have, but it's really hard to like separate the two. So I didn't feel bad. Luckily you guys were there to, uh, to detract it didn't come off. It didn't come off as like, you were like a giddy child. It, it was, it was good. He was, he, he was good, man. He was, he knew what he knew that we liked him. He kind of threw shade. I like the, one. I like the what, what's did. for dinner. What's for dinner tonight? Jim <laughs> question. He was like, uh, I think we got some leftover Mexican food in the fridge. Love that answer. It was yeah. perfect. Oh, yeah. Can I go ahead Perfect. and expose myself? The stand-up comedian that lived next door to him, I'm I'm unfamiliar with. Yeah, no one knew. No one. No knew. idea. But I, I I gave him the the Benny. I did him. He did give us credit. He's like, if you saw a photo of him, you'd know. But yeah, he he understood <laughs> our lack of reaction there. I'm, I thought and he then, say like Kanye West lived next to him or something. Like that. <laughs> I was thinking. I was praying for Rogan. I was like, please be Rogan's neighbor. That would be phenomenal. Know. What's Rogan We're gonna tell that name? story? Marshall. Marshall. Oh, uh, we need to, we've got some dog stories in the hopper today. Should we should we get uh let's get into it after this? Dylan, can you uh, do the honors right now? New sponsor, new sponsor alert. Did you we have a new that. sponsor? Uh, if well, you're looking to reduce unnecessary trips out during these uncertain times and you're trying to avoid sold out grocery yeah. stores then boy, yeah. I have a new sponsor alert for you. Sun Basket, baby. It's perfect. It's delicious. And it's the solution for the times that we're living in. Uh, I mean, Sun Basket delivers healthy, delicious meals straight to your door. 
They have delicious recipes for all kinds of dietary preferences, including paleo, gluten-free, Mediterranean, vegetarian, and more. They make it easy and convenient with everything pre-portioned and prepped and ready to cook. You can enjoy your full dinner of organic produce and clean ingredients in as little as 15 minutes, no matter how much experience you have in the kitchen. I think that's meant for you, Dylan. Uh, and each week, Sun Basket offers a wide range of recipes to choose from. So you can try mouthwatering dishes like hoisin steak, strip lettuce cups with pickled daikon and carrots. I don't even know what some of these things are. I'm expanding my horizon with every single one of these Sun Baskets. It's beautiful stuff. I mean, Dave, you got some uh, Applewood smoked bacon uh, wrapped beef legs. Like, come oh, yeah. on. Uh, don't forget the organic fresh Italian pork sausage as well and the Asiago cheese tortellini. I would uh, be have y'all seen basket if my basket have y'all seen what's in, oh. have y'all seen what's in my basket. Organic Italian chicken meatballs? Are you kidding? I don't have to make my own meatballs now. Alaskan skin on salmon fillets? Get out of here. That's for the best, honestly. No offense. Yeah, it's probably better that you have meatballs arriving at your door instead of you making them. Yes. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to out basketing, out basketing both of y'all. Oh, I'm, I'm about to get a, a basket like Graham off. You just wait, Dave. It's gonna be gonna see. Mind. You guys are gonna see what I do, and y'all are gonna be like, "Wow, Dave really did it to him with the basket." I'm gonna be hanging <laughs> from my basket with my my elbow in, like I'm the car. Oh. <laughs> Like, I, it's I'm ridiculous. Not afraid, not afraid of it. That's ridiculous. Uh-uh. Uh, <laughs> come on. Uh, the, one of the best parts of these guys is that some basket facilities have the highest level of food and employee safety. They're reinforcing strict adherence to their existing standard operating procedures and increasing sanitation frequency in their distribution centers in order to protect you and your family. I mean, what what can these guys not do? Right now, Sun Basket is offering $35 off your order when you go right now to sunbasket.com slash randy and enter promo code Randy at checkout. That's sunbasket.com slash R-A-N-D-Y. And enter promo code Randy at checkout for $35 off your order, sunbasket.com slash Randy, and enter promo code Randy. Last right. time Dylan last time Dylan went after a basket this hard, he broke his leg, so be careful this time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, the, man, the jokes just keep coming. Yeah, that's right. It's Wednesday, bitch. Hell yeah, Dave. <laughs> Dylan, are we allowed to use uh, your your Dodge name for promo codes now? I don't see why not, man. Stella, she's got to earn it. Tongue. She needs to earn it. Yeah, yeah. She's Stop. being a, a good girl right now. She's sleeping, so uh, she's she's di- man. We had a storm last night. She slept right through it. Come on. Uh, so did you? So did you? Somehow, man, you must have been in a deep. Yeah. You, you know what? Six hours on the road will do that to you. I must, yeah, I was a heavy, I'm a, I'm a deep sleeper as is, but yeah, I was, I was kind of tired last night. You're right. Dylan, can you just explain for everybody who may not, might not have been in tune with the live stream or maybe have taken a couple of weeks off of, uh, circling back what's going on right now in your life? Yeah. So I was about, uh, an hour late to the live stream last night and that's because I was on the road the entire day, uh, right after we recorded yesterday morning, I hit the road for Corpus Christi, Texas which is about three hours, 15 minutes, three hour, three and a half hours away uh, to pick up my new little family member, my new little puppy, Stella. How did, Stella so, okay. Is, we didn't know that you were doing Stella for like a while. Yeah. Did you yeah. have a, you had a short list of names. Are you willing to divulge those, that <clears throat> short list or no? I, I had a short list of names. Um, not, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I had like seven on there. Ooh, and um, and I, I basically Long let Parks list. pick. Yeah, Parks. He, he, we narrowed it down to two names at the end of the day. It was Trudy, which is a <laughs> name that will that will came up with on uh, on this podcast. Actually, that was a that was a. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was a, it was a front runner for for wow. a minute. Um, yeah, I didn't know I was gonna be a front runner. I actually i i messed up when I actually pitched that because I was thinking Judy from uh, uh, Righteous Gemstones, but I said Trudy. <laughs> And it ended up working out like it better because Trudy was great. Trudy is, um, I don't know, man. You know how I love people names for dogs. And Trudy is just, it's just one of those out there, funny, funny names that I don't know. Anyway, we settled on Stella. It's a great name. I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah. So we, I picked up Stella from Corpus and drove back and got back here around 7, 10. And then uh, I flipped on the the live stream and, and watched y'all finish up with, with Chantel and then with Jim, and uh, I hopped on to to do the little reveal. Man, she's been great so far. 
Can I ask you a question? Was Deborah putting uh, Stella to work like she was Randy, working the rigs from three to midnight in the Corpus Christi Bay? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so, Dave. No, no. I, you I, know what? Just checking. And for those for those who don't know, uh, yeah. So I I use the same person, the same breeder that Dave used for Randy. So Randy and Stella are half siblings. They share a father, which is tight. I mean, Randy is a great dog. And so, uh, and that's kind of why I was drawn to this breeder, but, uh, you want me, Hey, I'm not kidding at 10 7 AM. She texted me. Do you want me to read really? it? It's very nice. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> she says, was nice to meet and put a face to, to Dillion Dylan spell with oh, Iowa. Yeah. Huh. Come on, Deb. Seemed excited about getting Stella. Hopefully Randy and Stella could be good friends. She loved to play rough with her siblings. She was my tomboy. I did not realize you were both. You were par partners. He really yeah. admires Randy. Thank you. Funny, I had five people who were in line. If he changed his mind, I could have sold 10 more pups. Never would have guessed this during COVID-19 period. Uh, edit. These are uncertain times. Uh, LOL. Is your address the same? Wanted to send you something for the referral. We just talked about this. Not necessary. Yeah. I, I, It's not. I'll get it and donate it. All I yeah, did was give you a phone number. She's a very nice woman. She gave me a huge bag full of toys and food and, and medicine and stuff for, for her. So she 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 knows what she's doing. She's doing a good job. But, um, man, Stella's tight. <clears throat> Ken to Randy, how can you not be tight? But I have a funny story about when I was picking her up. Uh oh, so she's this last when these When these puppies are born, they Dave, you already know this, but they're color-coded. She doesn't give out names to all the puppies because obviously the owners are supposed to name them. So they're all, they all have different colored collars on. So there's like blue girl, yellow girl, you know, green boy, stuff like that. They're all color coded. So the one I was picking up uh, was lavender. That was the color that, that was chosen for her. So I get there and where she's, you know, I, I meet, I meet her and everything and, going through she's explaining stuff to me and tell me what's in the bag and going over paperwork and all that and then so they had come microchipped already right and for the microchip there's a corresponding barcode and you know number that goes along with all of them she has a huge list in front of her and so her husband is there he scans the microchip and he reads it off to her and uh the number didn't <laughs> the number didn't match what she what she had <laughs> on her sheet and she goes, can you can you clear it and try it again? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he <laughs> he thinks, I guess I thought there was a, a malfunction or something. He scans it again and reads off the number. And she's going through her list again. And I can see the looks on their faces. It was like, oh, fuck. Something is not right here. Um, she goes, that's yellow girl. So I'm pretty sure they gave my dog to the owners that, was, that were supposed to pick up yellow. And... Um, yeah, so I think I think they switched dogs. She's she's like she tried to like brush it off as not a big deal. She's like, I'll get this figured out and I'll, I'll let you know. I'll send you the right information at some point. But they switched. They I don't know how it happened, but they switched dogs at some point. Uh, not that it matters. They're all the same dog. I mean, as long well, I you're not trading dogs at this point. You can't. Yeah, you already. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, no, this dog is trade. That's your yeah, dog. This dog is mine. This dog is mine. No matter what. They're, I'm not. They're, I'm not swapping with anybody at this point. But it, it, I don't I wonder how many times this has happened before. They, they clearly, they, they tried to like not startle me and, and act like, you know, and make me feel like they didn't know what they were doing. So that she tried to play it off. It's like, oh, we'll get, we'll get figured out. And I'll send you the right paperwork eventually. But yeah, they switched, what, they switched dogs. What did, uh, what did Stella do when she met you for the first time? When she saw me, so they have a, um, a, a gate set up that divides the kitchen from the living room. You, you've seen uh -huh. it, Dave. She immediately, she, she's so small enough that she could fit under the gate. So she like crawled, she like army crawled under basically oh. to come say hi to me. And that was tight. She came right up to me. And on the way home, she slept, she crawled in my lap about five minutes after we left the house, crawled in my lap and slept the whole way back. I was like, come Today, on. You need to post. Today's about to be your biggest IG day ever. Well, I'm waiting for Parks to get here. I, I, I don't want to I don't want to post without him yet. So um, I want to do something with them too involved. So tomorrow is likely my post day. I have having so many homing. so many people have DM me 
or texted me, my sister, like, you guys need to, you will and uh, Dylan need to get together, get the dogs together and just Instagram it. Like, just go Instagram live, of just like the dogs yeah. hanging out. I was like, yeah, it's, that'd probably be pretty fun. Yeah. I mean, she's, she's obviously, she's, she's only 12, 12 and a half weeks old, I guess. So she's still little. And it's, you know, unfortunately, this is like the time to get like dope grams off and, and do fun little play dates and stuff. But, you know, with these in these uncertain times, Dave, it's it's hard oh. to do. What kind of ground rules are you going to have for uh, Stella around the house? Uh, the main thing is she's not going to be a, a bed or a couch dog. Makes sense. Floor, I, she's got a, this big, comfortable bed. I got her, so she's going to be she's going to be on the ground. Um, I just I know they they they're shedders, and I don't want uh, all that all that hair on the couch and on the bed stuff. But that, that's pretty much it. She's going to be inside with me. She already let me know. She already uh, whined at the door when she had to go out and, and drop Ooh. a deuce, which is tight. That's huge. That's huge. a yeah. nice time. They they crate trained her already, so that that's a huge bonus. I got a crate that she slept in last night. Didn't make a peep. She loved it. Um, yeah, so that that's pretty much it. She's gonna have free reign of the house for the most part. Dude, the paws on that dog. Yeah, she's gonna be yeah. a big girl, dude. Are you ready? Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's bring it on. What's your walking loop look like? Dude, I'm in like the best spot to walk, like maybe in the entire city. I'm not even kidding. There are so first of all, the neighborhood is tight on its own, and there are kids, people walking all over the place. But about a hundred feet up the street from me is a is like a, a gravel trail that goes through the woods and, and like it just kind of winds throughout the entire neighborhood. And it's a mile and a half long. It's a legit trail. Um, and it's surrounded by a wood, like woods, and it's it's cool. So we we're in a, a really good spot. She's she's gonna love it. Have you found a vet yet? Um, I think I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm gonna use Will and Sally's vet. They speak so highly, but I, I'm open. I don't really know. I got I got to contact him today. So that that's on my list of things to do. I would I would my advice would be to find somebody who's not a complete beating to get to, like as far as like proximity to the crib that. That's the negative to to Will and Sally's vet is that it sets up Mopac, you know. Mm -hmm. So in these, in I, COVID, I still don't know where you. Deal, but. I still don't really know where you live, Dylan. So <laughs> I have no, <laughs> no idea where Dylan lives. <laughs> couldn't point it out. Map. Couldn't if if there was like if Dylan called me right now and was like, "Dude, someone's invading my house. Come over here and help as soon as possible." You'd there's be useless. No way out. Yeah, like I'd, I'd have to call Micah and be like, "Micah, we got to drive around for a while." <laughs> Dude, y'all got to come through, man. Right, right when this thing's over, I'm having a house party. Y'all got to come through. Have you lit up the uh, the patio yet? No, I haven't gotten the the strand lights yet, but it's it's gonna happen. Yeah, okay. I got big plans yeah, for your patio, so I might just interior design it. Oh I, shit! Wow, would that be exterior? Yes, it would. Well, you can, it, yeah, I guess <laughs> exterior design on a room outside, so you you can kind of go both ways with it. It's yeah. it's the interior of the backyard. Yes. Yeah. Remember when remember the waitress at uh El Alma called me out for not knowing what El Fresco meant? Yes, yeah, that was a funny day. day. Dude, that pissed me off. I was really <laughs> angry about that. Cuz I was right. Damn. Yeah, you, you were explode, right. Man. I don't I don't really understand what that was about. She I think she was being flirty. I think she was on her flirtiest behave. Different languages. <laughs> Different languages. Honestly, that pales in comparison to the bartender at uh, Everly that just absolutely flamed Dylan into the next like dimension for ordering a. What did you order, dude? She she just snatched my manhood from me. She a snatched frose. my manhood. I ordered a frosé. She goes, "I'm not gonna bring you a frosé." I was like, "Oh, did you? Got, are you out of them or something?" She goes, "No, I'm just not gonna bring you a frosé." I was sitting there. <laughs> I was I was at a table with guys who all ordered had like whiskey drinks. Someone may have gotten a martini or something. I wanted a frosé. It was hot outside, and I, I, I've been trying to track down a frosé for months. And they were like, "The I couldn't find one." And finally, I was like, "Oh yeah, it's frosé time, baby!" And she just completely, damn, crushed me. I know, man. She was being flirty though. She was flirty. She was wearing that flirty, flirty fit. Oh yeah. I actually, t I actually brought this up when I interviewed the general manager for Sunday Scaries, and he laughed at it. He was like, "Yeah, that sounds funny." <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. I was like, I, I was like, I'm not going to tell you this story if you're gonna if you're gonna punish any of your employees for it. And he was like, No, we're good. Oh, I got to listen to that. I didn't My do bad. it on air. I didn't do it on air. I'm sorry. 
Oh, okay. No, I, I, I wasn't going to expose you like that. Oh. Hey, hey, Will, Will, can you commit to uh, throwing Rosie in the car, and we'll throw Randy in the car, and we'll go do like the we'll do the drive by of Dylan's house today, where yeah. like we roll <laughs> down the window and let him say hi. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, the parade wave. That. Yeah, that works. Yeah, Rosie, Rosie, all, she's loving it. the new car. Like, there's so much space for her to roam now that I've put all the seats down, and she just has it. It's just great. So, yeah, I think we can do a drive by. Spray the whole block. Not. Puppies. You don't got to see uh, where I live too, man. I've been in this house for over a month now. You have no idea where I live, dude. Yeah, it's but, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna put your neighborhood on notice as I've got Randy in the back seat, window rolled down. I'm just ghost riding the whip right by your front door. Like I'm gonna pull up into your front lawn. Please don't ghost ride, Dave. There, there are kids all over this neighborhood, man. Gotta you know, let them know, buddy. Dude, Dave, wouldn't it be a funny bit if like we just never went to Dylan's house throughout the term of sleep? <laughs> Dude, I, I would, I would, uh, uh-uh. I would have to find a new podcast to join. <laughs> it's like I got a buddy. He lives in New York City. He's lived there for since he was in college. He's lived there for so long. And the first time I visited him, I never even saw his apartment. Just like not once. And he was like, "Dude, what are you doing? He's like, You're like the worst friend. You visit, took you eight years to visit me out here, and then you never looked at like even went to my apartment." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm sorry." <laughs> not a good house yet. Yeah, let's coordinate. I want to go. We're gonna. That's get to funny. It. Dylan, have you decided what you're going to reuse that uh, that extra room you just have for? No, I mean, I thought about turning it into a playroom for parks, um, but no, I mean it's it's just it's just collecting boxes and furniture that I have no use for right now. So, I don't so really know Dave, Dave can still pad the walls and the floor and do UFC training. Uh, sh- yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. Okay. Yeah. Well, Parks texted me; he wants to turn it into a dojo. Oh, really? That's weird. When I we tried to do uh, jujitsu that time, he was totally not into it. So I don't know what changed. He told me he needs to work on his striking. He said he's really getting into the Muay Thai stuff. He said he found some good YouTube videos and um, he wants me to work on it with him. And I think I might. So I'll be at your place tomorrow to build out that dojo. Interesting that he went to you for that. So you don't really have mm-hmm. a background in. in no, Muay I do. Thai, so. I watch a lot of UFC. Oh. So. Okay. Yeah. Dude, he's going to meet Stella tomorrow. It's going to be on. Oh, it's not today? Dude, I can't wait for him to meet this damn dog. You need to make this know, happen man. now. It's we, gotta, yeah, right like, after, make it happen. The reason I the reason I had to bail on the uh, live stream last night because he was going to bed and he was dying to FaceTime with the dog. So he he met her virtually last night. Um, mm. She was running all over the house. She wouldn't sit still. She She's not familiar with FaceTime, believe it or not. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Did the Mark, real, hey, nice to meet you. <sighs> yeah yeah he did he, did he give her some dig, he gave her some digital pets yeah Boop. yeah Boop. <laughs> yeah i'm excited for him you i know text- we're out here digital booping dogs in 2020 i texted dave yesterday in the in like early afternoon and i was like hey we need to plan for dylan to not be here for the live stream tonight and Dave's like, no, I think he's going to be here. Like, you got plenty of time. And I was like, no, like he's going to have a brand new puppy alone in his house, arriving at his house at like pretty much 7 p.m. There's no way that this is logistically like going to work at all. And uh, yeah. you made it happen, though. You made it happen. Better late than never. She, uh, when I when I got there, she kept me there for much longer than I thought I was going to be there for. So because they were uh, trying to figure out which my, dog is which. Talking my ear off and trying to figure out which dog they were giving to me. So it took it took a little bit of time, but at least well, they mean, said they said that originally that they weren't going to get let her let her go with you. They said they weren't sure about you at that stash. So that stash was just kind of putting off a weird vibe. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I had a mask on when I was in there, so they didn't see. Did you? The stash. Did you for real have a mask? She. I, asked, I mean, that, that makes sense. I just I didn't even think about that. She asked me to because her husband. She said my husband is high risk, so please wear a mask when you arrive. Like, yeah, no problem. Nice. Oh, that's hey, nice. What, what was the trooper count on the road? I, I saw a lot, actually. Ooh, a lot. Uh, yeah. Exactly but, what I said, that there's a ton of cops out right now. <laughs> See, my was, theory is just that you guys aren't driving, so you're not seeing cops that much. Like I was flying. I don't, I don't know if they're pulling people over but because I was driving way too fast. But uh, Damn. They're, they're out there, man. You're crazy, dude. Dave, can you're you- going on the road right now. Can, Dave, can you? I mean, I think this is a good segue. Can you mansplain uh, the Texas reopening to us? 
I can. Let me uh, can I pull up in my notes. Uh, yes. Uh, and by the way, I, I did see some criticism that I, I mansplained a joke to Chantel. And it, I, it wasn't that I was mans. I knew she would get it. It was just that it was a reference to something she had said like 45 seconds prior. So that's why I dropped. It was silly. And this is me letting the comments get into my head. I but anyway, even, I didn't even see those oh, yeah, comments. I didn't about that. Okay, good. Well, then, hell yeah. Tech, did you guys know that Texas defeated the virus? First of all, let me just ask you that. Uh, you got to think they didn't, though. Well, we defeated the invisible enemy, Will. Uh, per the Texas Tribune, um, this dro- this happened on Monday. Uh, Texas restaurants, retailers, and other businesses can reopen on Friday. Parties of six or less, disposable menus, and limited capacity are among the new rules. Um, essentially, for retailers and malls, this is just in Texas, Balls and retailers across Texas can reopen, but must keep capacity limited to 25%. Okay, now there's a little bit of a different standard for, uh, I believe the word is rural, rural counties with less than five confirmed cases. Retailers can serve up to 50%. So I don't know who that applies to. It's definitely not Austin. Nothing rural about here. But um, the food courts are going to be closed, including uh, play areas, interactive displays. They are all closed. Restaurants on Friday, dine-in service, same capacity, 25%. Basically, that's that's what we're doing. Although Greg Abbott, the governor and former, uh, I guess he is a Duncanville Panther alumni, he thinks that he's going to keep the alcohol delivery stuff and to go in place after all this, which is a positive, I think. Definitely a positive. Have you guys done it? No. Yeah. A couple I did, times. Yeah. I got a fro- I got a frozen margarita from Taco Flats the other day, and just dumped it immediately into a Yeti and took a walk. It was great. Hell yeah! Ooh. Yeah, like it was it was so easy. And because you have to buy food with it, because that's one of the the rules with the takeout, you have to buy food. And so we just bought one single flour tortilla, fed it to Rosie on the walk, and then uh, just sipped on some marks. It was great. That's all it takes. Yeah. One single flour <laughs> tortilla. Funny. No, sorry. One, it was a corn tortilla. I, I was mistaken there. But oh. like, I, we were like, yeah, this is the best situation of all time. How much did they get a frosé delivered to me? It was the first frozen drink I've had since quarantine started, and I have to say, it felt really, really good, especially outside, like walking under trees and like actual outdoors. It was, it was a phenomenal feeling that only made me want to do it more. Okay, question. So May first, which fr- which is Friday, that's the day that this goes into place, and we can actually. Are, we're allowed to go to restaurants. When will you personally decide to step out and go to a public place like that? Oh, May 1st, easily. May 1st, dude, if, if they're doing this, it means the virus has been defeated. The invisible enemy has been just, <laughs> just completely destroyed. So I'll catch me at midnight at Little Woodrow's or wherever, man. Wow. I mean, uh, weeks? Like, I, there's no way that I go within three weeks, I don't think, unless like, there's a serious downturn. I just looked at the, the coronavirus stats for uh, the city of Austin and the curve has yet to be flattened. So I'm not really feeling that great about going out in public. Uh, I've seen a lot of idiots out there that are still just like that weren't even social distancing in the first place. And those same idiots are going to be the ones who are going to restaurants first. And so I will be avoiding all of the first wave. Uh, the first two weeks, I mean, this weekend for sure, not touching anything. Yeah. My plan will be to... It, I won't be going to restaurants or anything, but I will. I will. Uh, my first step will be hanging out with people like y'all. Yes. Like in like small, intimate dinner settings or something like that. Like going to see Dylan's puppy or whatever it is. And yeah. then we'll, and then, you know, two, three, four weeks, we'll see how it goes. But I'm definitely not going to be out there. This, uh, this kind of feels like when uh, you get your wisdom teeth out in high school and, um, you get some pain meds and you feel like you're good. So you go out like the, the, the next day, even though they tell you you need some time and uh, you drink a little bit and then you end up getting dry sockets. I hope I'm wrong, but that is my analogy for this. <laughs> you, just, you pass out with your mouth wide open. You're just breathing in all that air, the painkiller. Like, yeah, you're just screwed. Yeah, I hope the, the Texas is going to get dry sockets if, if we're not careful. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't think I'll have a problem staying in, especially since the people who I usually go out with, which is you guys, won't be going anywhere. What I am, I am kind of worried about um, the 18th when gyms open up. <laughs> Dave, 
when gyms open up, I'm going to be so tempted to step out and, and go get a, a pump in. But um, that's what still three weeks away, so that's not terrible. I don't know. We'll see. If there's one yeah, person going. who's going to intervene when you start talking about going to the gym, if I don't feel comfortable, it's definitely going to be me being like, "We sure, we sure, we should be doing this." Oh yeah, I know. And I, I probably won't honestly, but it's going to be tempting. I if if I if I engage in any high risk behavior and we're back in the lodge, I fully uh, welcome any criticism as long as it's done tastefully. Yeah. Yeah, I I I don't want to like criticize people, but at the same time, like I also don't want coronavirus, so it's like really hard for me to not just kind of be like very blunt with people I know about this stuff. And I think you have to be blunt, otherwise you kind of get guilted. Like I don't know, it's just weird. It's a weird scene out there. I don't even I don't know. I want to go to parks. I just want to go like bring Rosie to a park and like just go do that. I'm just tired of being in the same like I don't yeah. know. I've lived in le I've lived in a smaller uh, sized area yeah. than. Jim O'Hare's pool. Like I haven't really moved that much. Well, I can, I know you were wanting to run fives recently. So let me give you the uh, lowdown on outdoor sports. Texans can only play sports that don't include contact with other players. And only four people can play at a time that rules out most sports, including as you know, basketball. So yeah. And when tough. I'm D, when I'm D and somebody up, like my hands are all over you. So when I'm back, when I'm backing you down, I'm, I'm throwing ass right into you. So yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, good. I'm pulling on your shirt. I'm just like slapping you. I'm like kneeing you. It's just going to be ugly. So yeah, we can't. Run I some. love how I love how physical you play the game of basketball. Will God? Yeah, you can like, just feel like, my sweaty, sweaty like me feeling all over you. It's great. Yeah. Will it's just weird. Will, you play chinos though. Yeah, I know. It's I don't like playing yeah. in chinos, but you know they they're pretty breathable. So it's like your brain. Will, chinos, dog. Yeah. Fucking Will Lambeer over here. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm Tayshawn, dude. I got that silky smooth, smooth uh, lefty jumper. You are not Tayshawn Prince. <laughs> dude, I'm Tayshawn Prince. He has a completely different skill set than you. Oh, dude, we're essentially the same person. Dylan, you'll be fine though, because you don't play any D anyway. Oh, oh man. Are you kidding yeah, me? You don't. You don't play D at all, dude. You, dude. They, everybody calls me Dennis Rodman, man. When I'm on the court, I don't I'm know. just crashing the board and locking it down. Ever since Ooh, your ankle, people have been trying to drive by you because they know that you're you're uh, a little gingerly on it. All right, come try then, bitch. See what happens. <laughs> I'm, I'm left-handed. You don't you don't want that, dude. Man, I can't go left. Uh, oh, I can't dribble. You have left. no left hand. No, nah, I'm not. Yeah, right dude, explode you. Hard. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you guys this: When will you golf? So I feel like that's so that's a little bit, you know. I will golf in the next four weeks. Yeah, I'll do I it before we go to a restaurant. I think if I had to guess, I would say that I'd be. Or I I might not actually do it before going to a restaurant, but I'd be more willing to do that before going to a restaurant. If Same. that makes sense. Yeah, I, I have I have no guarantees. I'm trying to think of other activities that I want to do that like require stuff, but I'm just realizing how limited my interests in life are. It's just pretty much restaurants and like maybe golf. That's fine. I will also be much more give, willing to a patio restaurant than a indoor situation. Ooh, al fresco, as they uh, call it. Yes. <laughs> Can I give you guys some stats that may make you reconsider all of this? Ugh, sure. Yeah. This is a this is about testing. So with a population of more than twenty seven point eight million in twenty eighteen and over two hundred thousand tests administered, Texas has administered about seven hundred seventy seven coronavirus tests per one hundred thousand people ranking 48th a month among states in testing per capita. So we're not doing good testing, guys. Wonderful. Perfect. So, uh, we're getting dry the sockets. Like, the last like 15 seconds, I, I lost audio, audio, so I have no idea what you said, but uh, I'll just assume it was good information. Well, he said it was good information, bad news. Texas is near, near last in testing. Per capita. Oh, fantastic. Love yeah. to hear that. And then he said something about dry suckets. I'm not really sure what he was talking about, though. <laughs> <sighs> Can we talk about Mike Tyson real quick? How would that even work? Yes, let's talk Mike Tyson. Okay. Uh, I, I apologize in advance because uh, I'm bringing a soccer story to the timeline right now. But uh, Mike Tyson, apparently – so there are two things in this that I, I did not realize. Uh, one, did you guys know Mike Tyson owns a weed company? 
Yes. I did I not. Only know that. I only know that from his Rogan appearance. Is it legal in Las Vegas? Nevada, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I had no idea. And uh, two, I didn't know that Barcelona doesn't have a stadium sponsor, which seems really stupid for a team of that size. And it turns out Mike Tyson tried to buy the stadium sponsorship that they're offering up this uh, this next season. Uh, he tried to buy it for his weed company, which I kind of love. But so to set the scene here, Barcelona has never had a stadium sponsor. And the only reason they're doing it this year is to uh, raise money for coronavirus. And I just want Mike Tyson to have, I want it to be Mike Tyson's camp new, essentially. You said that he tried. Did they deny him? They apparently denied him, which does not make me happy. Here, let me read a, Let me read part of the story. Okay. Um, I'm really worried that when I open this tab that a, a news thing is going to pop up and start doing really loud music. So I'm going to talk just so it's not jarring when this eventually happens. Um, sounds like we're good. Uh, yeah, it's, so it says they, they claim that they have not yet received an offer from Mike Tyson's cannabis company with regards to buying naming rights to Camp New. Uh, but a source said that the club are open to offers from anyone and they have to be serious companies or brand. But apparently they're considering his to be uh, very serious. I don't understand why you wouldn't take Mike Tyson selling weed seriously. <laughs> I, he's legit. It's a legitimate uh, undertaking. I, I think from everything I've heard about it, like he's got legit funding and everything and he's got a, a full, what is it? Dispensary. You can go visit and stuff. I don't know if there's any tigers there. Probably not, but I don't know. He's That's, worth I, Dave, can you guess how much he's worth? Oh, I definitely can. I would say Mike Tyson is worth $55 million. No, it's too low. I thought 150. $550 million is what I said. Oh, Brett, do you have a guess? Dylan, you are uh, Mike Tyson. I, I don't know. One, one, 100, 110. 300 million. Sheesh. I okay. think it's the royalties from uh, the, the hangover being on TV a lot lately. That's true. You got to think so. My guess was low because I assumed that somewhere along the way there was a bankruptcy or something. I feel like he had uh, he had obvious legal troubles. I just assumed that there were some financial issues, but shout out to him for bouncing back. But did he? He probably had one of those like rich people bankruptcies where they don't actually go bankrupt, right? And like a fifty cent a fifty cent bankruptcy. Yeah, it's like they're, they they file for bankruptcy, but like they have another account somewhere else that just has like a ton of cash in it. You're like, oh no, bankrupt. Uh, no, no, please <laughs> oh, liquidate these assets that I can't get rid of otherwise. Anyway, I don't know anything just, about bankruptcy. I'm sorry. Discharge all my debt. Uh, will you, are you guys going to be okay if I put together a formal offer to buy the naming rights for Barcelona Stadium? Wait, no. I have a question. It's maybe it <laughs> might be a stupid. It might be a stupid question. But is weed legal in Spain? I don't think so. But uh, from what I can tell, uh, based on my reading regarding this topic, it's a very, it's a progressive country uh, that might embrace that kind of thing. Okay. I'm not sure though. I've only been I've I've been to Spain once, or as they say there, Uno times. And so if you live in if you live in España and you're you know a fan of this team, you're like, oh, is, we got a weed weed company sponsor for the stadium. Uh, I want to get I want to get some weed. Like, how do you how do you even go about doing that? That's smoke some bitch. <laughs> yeah. is, that, is that is the company tagline? <laughs> smoke some bitch. Actually, now I need to know it. Like, if he has like. I need to know more about this company now. There's yeah. no way he's able to sell his weed overseas, though. Like that, that's got to be highly regulated and very difficult to ship internationally. No. You can't. So I'll pull back the curtain. There was a company that was interested in doing some work with Sunday Scaries. That was a weed company, and like you could. There are benefits to you know getting your name out there ahead of all these other companies for the eventual time when it's legal everywhere. But at the same time, like when a lot of the listeners are from Texas. There's no, it's not going to work. It doesn't work. Right. Yeah. That, that's why I'm kind of curious about this. I don't see how logistically how it makes sense for him to oh. choose that stadium. I've, okay. I'm officially all in on Mike Tyson's company. Tell us why. Yeah. It's called Tyson Ranch. The homepage is just a photo of Mike Tyson wearing a leather 
like bomber jacket kind of thing with like the sh with like shearling on it, and it's the swaggiest coat I've ever seen on Mike Tyson before. That's saying a lot. Oh my word! Well, Tyson Sick. Ranch it's called Tyson Ranch, I guess. I'm not really sure why, but. If Tyson Ranch is an actual place, I'd like to go there and uh, do some video content with Mike Tyson. Oh, it definitely is. Know, we could de we could go. Dave, you've been workshopping your Mike Tyson. Uh, I have not uh, impression. I really, have that really quick for it. Really haven't. You, I kind of deserve this for making Cat Pat do an impression last night, but uh, I have not. But you know, I, th that's the something about the weed I like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he wanted to eat. He wanted to eat that guy's children. People don't people oh, don't forget. Well, eat the children. I, I know it's terrible. Children. I would have been good. <laughs> Watching Sports Center when he said that he wanted to eat that dude's children, I was legitimately afraid <laughs> for that dude's children. I mean, like I was I was a little yeah. I was in awe at what Mike Tyson was doing. I was like, and he had already like, yeah. I don't think he had bit Evander Holyfield at that point, but like when he bit a Evander Holyfield, I remember being like, This is like the he most actually eat children. Ever. Yeah, like yeah. I was a kid watching that, being like, what, "What's going on? Is he going to eat some some guy's kids? Like, what, what is he saying?" Yeah, we were the most. One of the most underrated things in sports history is I think people forget Mike Tyson was only five ten. He's yeah. only five foot ten. Yeah, like, and he's just an absolute murderer. What? It's what so it's still insane. What weight did he get up to? Do you like? Does it? Do you know, Dave? Oh, dude, I think he had to have been like two forty. Scary. That's a thick. Scary. That's a thick five ten. That's a lot of muscle. Two forty. That's big. How about that. That's cool. I'm five. I'm. Uh, I flirt with five ten, and I'm probably about one fifty five. So I feel like that we could never meet up. If uh, in his prime, in my prime, it probably wouldn't have worked out. He probably would have beat the piss out of me. You have to think. Decent chance at that. Yeah, I would say. I would love to see what Dave Ruff looks like at two forty. Just stacked. Yes. There's like, nowhere to put that. There's nowhere to put that. No, your arms are just sticking <laughs> out from your side. Like you'd be, it, it, it's it's physically impossible for you to carry 240. You'd have to give me your legs, Will. You'd have to give me Dylan's pecs, and then like Mike, <laughs> Mike is maybe Mike's calves, and then yeah. like I don't know whose arms. Who's got big bulky arms, dude? Dylan. The last time I saw, they're probably nothing now because like Dylan's been taking days off. But like the That's last right, time I saw asked. Dylan in person, he flexed in front of me, and I don't want to gas Dylan up too much. I was <laughs> shocked by how big his bicep was. Oh well, well that's nice of you to say. I'm not, I'm not much of an arm guy, but uh, thank you, Will. Do you, know, do you know how small my head would look if I weighed 240 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> you would have no neck. It'd be a requirement that your neck just went away. It would just. I would look good. like uh, John Gruden's son. God. That guy's got to chill, man. Isn't he legit Dude. like a legit bodybuilder? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, or power like, lifter calm, or something. Calm down, dude. <laughs> He's yoked. He's small. <laughs> He's dice. We could, uh, I, we could do chump to champ, Dave versus Mike Tyson. Jackie Chan at at sixty five is one thing. Mike Tyson at fifty five or whatever he is. Mike Tyson, there there will never be a time in Mike Tyson's life, his natural life, that he cannot beat the shit out of me. Fifty three. The problem, Ooh, oh, the problem with easy. doing an exhibition like that, when Micah went up against Sean, like Sean had, he had a he had a governor on, right? He wasn't going like full out. Mike Tyson doesn't have that. He, you flip that switch, and he just wants to kill you. It'd be trouble for Dave. Yeah, you got to think. So. You got to think. I don't win around in that exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> how much did his face tattoo tarnish his legacy for me it was a lot like i don't yeah. I, I hate it uh, it's a tribal tat and it's on his face so it's like two strikes yeah I, who in his team let that happen i don't if think they had any control over him <laughs> if we're dr if we're drunk like we go out for the first night after coronavirus like all the regulations are lifted we're just like super faded on sixth street hanging out having fun and then Dave's like, I'm, I'm going to go get a tribal tattoo on, on my, my face. Like, part of me would be like, yes, we're making this happen. And no. then, the, like, then finally we get to this place. And then like, I think like, oh man, Alyssa's going to kill me after she kills Dave. Yeah. We, uh, we got to stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
There's a decent chance I get some kind of tattoo in the next five years. It'll probably be Dallas sports based. I feel like we've talked about this, but um, I, I'm the hey, look. If one of us is going to go out and be like, let's get tattoos or something, it, it, I'll probably be there to start that fire. I'm get ready. The big cat tattoo. I'm ready. Get the washed media big cat tattoo on like in your back shoulder or something, Dave. Be tight, dude. I don't know about that. Imagine you strolling through the locker room with that bad boy on your shoulder. Get then out you of have here. to. Then you have to explain it. I don't want to talk yeah. to people at the gym. Then, then like, you make like, money and stuff. Well, what if we get like bear hugged or something, and then you have this constant reminder that we got bear hugged because of this like circling back tattoo? I have to replace it with a Vox Vox Media. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Vox is buying many media companies. They're just yeah. furloughing and and completely firing. 90% of their workforce. Oh, really? Are they? Are they struggling? Yeah, that's not like good. That. No. Yeah, they keep, they keep, it's, and they're doing it like staggered so they can only be like, oh, yeah, no, it was just 10% of our employees. It's like, yeah, well, that was on top of the 30% last year and the 20% the year before that. So, damn. Dude, I love, I love, I love, uh, big brain media Brett when he just like spits out this random shit that I don't know. Yeah. I do a lot of media research and reading and generally stuff that does not help me whatsoever, but it, Gives me facts like that that I can just drop. So oh, you just, sound legit. Yeah. Thanks. I just tweet that, about for fake restaurants every morning when I wake up. So mm -hmm. not much better. Well, the Wilmot's no, no, Twitter no. right now is on fire. I don't know who runs that, but you you need to give that intern a raise. Yeah, I'd give him a raise if he had like an actual like bank account and identity. <laughs> I heard uh, it was Cap Hat. <laughs> you illegal? I mean, I. It, <laughs> cash only situation uh i do i do want to know like i need to hit 2000 followers on that account though he has got some benchmarks to hit before may 1st so i'm hoping that he can make that happen or else heads are gonna roll the tweet today about the the tide it really got me if you keep tweeting like that you'll you'll hit you'll hit 2k pretty quickly i don't even know who tweeted that our management team is in disarray right now <laughs> We had to we avoided a bear hug from the Rainforest Cafe last week, so we're, we're, we're hot. <laughs> what was that to go to? Dude, I, I come like up with this stupid shit. I want to go to a Rainforest Cafe. It's the it's yeah, next. Tight. My, yeah, it's next on my list when it comes to like you know chain restaurants that I want to get into. I will go to a Margaritaville if a Rainforest Cafe is not available, but I want to go to one of those two. I think it'd be fun to go with you guys. Dude, it it's like you're eating in the rainforest. It's amazing. Yeah. Pumping in all the noise and stuff. It's just awesome. Man. I'm excited. Dave, what, Dave, what's this tweet you just sent us all? Uh, I'm trying to get ready to pull it up. It's the uh, oh. it's the, the, Luca, the Luca Jordans that are dropping on the 30th. I don't I'm know copying. if you saw. I think I sent them to the group text. I definitely tweeted about it, but uh, I, just, I, I just thought of it, and I was like, well, we – we got time. I just wanted to say that I will be copying. And Barrett said that they're not going to be that hard to get. So I, I texted Barrett. He was the first person I hit up, Club Cool Zone. And he said, they're sweet. Got to get them. Uh, what are you going to wear these with? These are high tops, just to be clear. I don't know. Well, these I don't know. Tops. Yes. I, no, these I, are the I, mids. I, these are the mids. These are the mids. Oh, but, okay. they, but they are higher than anything else I have. Yeah, like I need to, I need to see what you're gonna wear these with. You're gonna end up going to Nordstrom and talking to like your your team there, and then they're, <laughs> they're gonna get you just absolutely fitted. Yeah, you're you're right. I I don't know what I would wear these with really. Like, and there's a chance I don't have anything to wear them with, and there's even a chance I never will actually wear them. But I gotta support my man, so I'm co I'm copping these, dude. Uh, the colors are so I, I clean. I support you supporting your man. I think they're tight, Dave. You can you can pull them off, dog. Are you okay? So you know what they look like. You're able to see them. Yeah, I, I saw them when you tweeted them out yesterday. I okay, think. cool. Cool. At DC yeah. rough, or at D Carter rough. Sweet, so, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Ten K, ten K club. Swipe up. Ooh. <laughs> Add me on the group. Oh. Uh, what were you going to say something, Brett? I was going to say, Sunday Scaries is hitting 40K territory, too. I know. We're trying Dude. to do numbers, guys. We're all collectively trying to do numbers right now. It's just harder than it seems, you know? It's tiring. It is. It's tiring in these quarantine times. Um, and the thing is, when you don't post just random viral content that you rip from other, you know, 
other viral content aggregators. It's it's crazy how that works. Yeah, it's weird. Build legitimate following instead of relying on viral content. It's wild, but damn. Will I think you need to go viral again? There they are, dude. I I I don't hate the that my uh, oh, yeah. tweet is going micro. I don't hate that at all. They're simple, Dave. You know I like simple in a pair of shoes. Those are tight. You're gonna have to Can bring me into Nordstrom and like find your guy and be like, all right, we're doing this right now. Man, I'm, can I wear them with cargo shorts? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yep. I think you should just wear them with really long basketball shorts. <laughs> I'll get some of Dylan's that he just goes to the gym in. <laughs> Dylan's are retired, those Dave. Dave. Come on. Uh, uh, thank you. Should we do uh this weekend in quarantine? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll You've start. Exciting possibility for a weekend. Yeah, big weekend for me. So I'll, I'll have parks tomorrow. There's, so that's Thursday and Friday. And so, yeah, we're, we're going to be chilling with the new pup, man, going on walks. And uh, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for parks to get here and spend some time with her. It's going to be so tight. Um, Saturday and Sunday, I you know, I have nothing. I'll be quarantined, even though it will be um, – acceptable to go out into public according to the new texas guidelines but i'm not going to do it yet so i'll just be chilling is here's a question about these guidelines is knowing that there's going to be more people going to restaurants is that going to deter either any of you from getting takeout from those restaurants just knowing that there's going to be more people there and they might not have the contactless delivery system humming along and stuff like that yeah Man. depending on the restaurant because there's some restaurants that they get congested right when you walk, you know what I mean? So if I have to go in and there's going to be people waiting on tables and I know which restaurants these are, I'm not doing that. I'm really interested to see how they're going to regulate the 25% thing because they have like, are they going to turn people away or be like, yeah, we have like a, a six hour wait because you know, we don't have that many tables set up here. I just don't know how it's all going to work. If I go to a the restaurant system, 25% of their capacity, I'm going to be the, the, the meme where the guy's just sitting there with his arms crossed and the phone to his ear and you calling up. <laughs> the CDC. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to happen. I need to find a list of the Austin rest Austin restaurants that are and are not opening because obviously they don't have to, it's up to the business owner. Like I know in Dallas, like they've, there's some that have come out and been like, look for the safety of our employees and our customers, we're not going to do this. And I think it's a pretty good amount too. That makes sense. I can see Austin having a lot more restaurants that would skew that way than uh, any other uh, Texas city. What are you doing this weekend, Dave? Oh, I'm just hanging out. I'll probably be here. Uh, I don't know. I'll be, I'll be, I hope to see a puppy. I hope to see Stella at some point in the next uh, few days at a safe distance with masks. Randy's got a little mask I could put on him if you're worried <laughs> about that, Dylan. Does he have a little rubber glove for his paws? Yeah, he's got he's got little booties he puts on. Uh, <laughs> but that's I'll probably be doing that. I'll probably be getting some cuts in because, like I said, I want to get on the course for the next month. I'll probably be in the garage taking cuts, and I don't know. We'll see how these shin splints are doing. Maybe I'll go for another uh, little jog. What are the chances we can just get you smoking like a thirteen-hour brisket on the YouTube live stream? Ooh, can I tell you this? Well, I'm glad you brought that up. I bought a whole chicken. And I'm planning on smoking this chicken and making the smoked chicken inchies. So Ooh. there will be a, there might be a some sort of content smokage. Stay tuned for these activities. I mean, the live show, we could just redo Zuckerberg's. I feel like your backyard. We can make this happen in your backyard, pretty much to a T. Well, that was in his common man house because you know he probably has like five on his compound, and he has one that makes him look like a regular human. And that's a lot like my backyard. Pretty no. common, pretty basic. Yeah, and his, it was just a pod inside of his massive mansion. And the yeah. pod is his like his working man's backyard. It's like, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's where he does it. That's where he's doing his Zoom calls to his employees as if he's not a uh, hundred billionaire. Yeah. I have I have a low-key, low-key weekend ahead of me. Sally's work, been working these nights. And so my, my Friday night's just going to be me chilling, uh, doing the... The, the happy hour live, of course, but you know, it's kind of just a wide open time for me. Uh, I, I have Micah like bringing me food and stuff. That's how desperate I am. Uh, I would like to, I would like to do a new recipe this weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just try to check out and see what I'm craving, 
But I really have nothing, nothing outstanding this weekend that I need to attend to. Come Dude, through, I'm bitch. Gonna, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to do a drive by and see this puppy or something because I, I don't know. It's just weird. I, I've kind of run out of like boredom things to do. No offense to everybody, but like I'm really tired of doing Zoom calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not offended by that. Yeah, like I, I love seeing people, but I can't be doing like I can't be doing one with a different group of people every single day. So I'm gonna start limiting mine, and I'm gonna have to start turning down invites once in a while. Unfortunately, so have popular. you done a have you done one with tube socks yet? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yep. If yeah. you guys have any room in your next one, let me let me hop in there. I'll holler at you next next harbor one that goes off. Brett, what are you I'd doing, love- dog? Yeah, I'm I'm low key in it in uh, in H Town still. So despite the uh, the the thought that I might be running around every open restaurant, uh, no, I'll be I'll be quarantined up still. I think I'm gonna golf around we'll Carolina neighborhood. I think I'm just gonna like take a golf ball and neighborhood golf from like kind of do that as my my daily walk. I don't know. We'll see. It seems reckless. Think- You're gonna hit golf balls from people's yards. Yeah, just like take a take a nine iron out and just kind of just hit you know 100 yard 150 yard shots around the place. That we'll seems, see. uh, it seems pretty dangerous, but you, you do you, man? Actually, there's a lot of, whatever you want to do. Dave, there's a lot of like yard. It's not people's yards. It's people. It's like the the shared community, like medians and stuff like that. So I'm not I'm not just going in somebody's front yard and and hacking, you know, putting a divot. Okay. On. I was gonna say, dude, if I catch you, if I catch you putting it back in your stance and taking a div out of my front yard, you're gonna have problems. I'd be so <laughs> somebody who's taking one out. I've already got rollerblade tracks in my front yard. I know you got to do something about that guy, dude. It's totally. F- <laughs> hey, is the uh, is the Dave Ruff Swing Academy open this weekend? It is, but we're, we're it's open for private lessons. We're only allowing twenty five percent in, so basically small children. Okay. The, okay. Youth, really? the the Dave Ruff Swing Academy Youth Academy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, how how's thrown off with Chantel when we or I asked for ZJ stories? That that might have been my favorite favorite question that I got to ask. Because well, yeah, she uh, she didn't have any. She, she had, had I got her Bible study stories. I did. Love, I did love. That it. couldn't have worked out better. She said that he she saw him at a Bible study or something, and then I loved the comments that started chirping up from people saying like, "What's his favorite passage?" Like, yeah, <laughs> this is great. This is exactly what I want. So, that's so funny. That's I so can't funny. believe you dropped the espresso martini story. Yeah, I, I thought I thought she was going to keep that one holstered, but I'll have to do that on the Patreon at some point. I was going to say that's behind the paywall only. Yeah, Speaking of paywall. Patreon, patreon.com slash strictly back podcast will be live tomorrow, or I guess Friday. With tomorrow's episode, blister voicemails. Hey, we we Friday. do have to do one more Zoom call with Klein because he wants to talk like stuff that he can't talk about in the live stream so bad. Yeah, Cl- Klein like wants to do content but can't. Respect for that, absolutely, because obviously he can. But he does yeah. want to talk to the boys. All right, we can make that happen. I can. We'll do it for Klein. Klein. Should we get out of here, guys? Yeah, I think so. It was a good Wednesday. It's been fun. D- <laughs> Put Dylan, if you there. want to set up, if you want to set up a live cam and broadcast it on YouTube of just you know Stella's general area, you're also welcome. Right. To be- we'll see about it. All right, cool. She might be a content machine. She might have the content gene. We'll see. Uh, oh, yeah, she's a she's fun. a dog. Yeah, like what do you? <laughs> <laughs> and she's related to Randy, so obviously. Yeah. Don't be stupid. You need to do the thing where you have the sidewalk chalk that the kids are doing to like for the the drive by parties they they've been doing where they like enter here, leave here, and they're doing like fun things on the sidewalk. I, I've been noticing that on my runs, so I look forward oh, yeah, to yeah. seeing. I, I like to see what you're going to cook up. Hopscotch is is big right now on the streets, according Love to it. the chalk I've seen while I run. Wow, kids are I'm in. I like that kids are having to do the old stuff that we had to do out of mm, pure yeah. port. Yeah. It is perfect. Hi, guys. All right. Bye.